Hello, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how I use the Stream Deck to control the articulations within the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin from Spitfire Audio. The BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin contains strings, brass, woodwinds, tuned and untuned percussion, and I've set up a MIDI track or an instrument track within Cubase here for each of these instruments. So, for an example, I've chosen Celli from the string section, trombone from the brass, flute from the woodwinds, timpani from the tuned percussion, and I've chosen the untuned percussion patch as well. Each of these instruments is loaded up as a VST instrument track within Cubase and therefore has its own MIDI controls and MIDI channel associated with it within Cubase. You'll notice I've used my own bespoke icons within Cubase to distinguish between the different subgroups, strings, brass, woodwinds, tuned and untuned percussion, and these will correspond to the icons I use on my stream deck, which you're going to see in a second. Currently on my Stream Deck I have my Cubase control system, I have transport controls, some basic track adding functions, some editing functions, as well as marker locations and left and right marker transport functions. I also have a global mute button just in case things get out of hand and I need to shut everything down quickly. But the button we're really interested in is this button down the bottom left which is my articulation manager. When I click on this you can see I have access to my strings, woodwinds, brass, tuned and untuned percussion on the top row, all which have the same icons as I use in Cubase. Underneath that I have two further rows of articulation switching, including bass guitars, session guitarists from native instruments, session horns, Broadway brass, etc. But I'm not going to show you them today. The key thing today is the Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra. So let's choose our celli, and let's, for the sake of argument, load up the interface here, there's the Celli interface. You're using, we're using the pro version of the Spitfire Audio plugin today. And when I go to my string section on my stream deck, you'll see the list of articulations appearing on the screen, which correspond to the articulations that these strings instruments are capable of. So if I click on legato, the instrument on the screen switches to legato, longs, it goes to long. Because this is MIDI information, it is transmitted into the MIDI input of this VST instrument channel. So if I play... I can switch articulations and play a performance. If I want to record that, I simply press record in Cubase and as the record runs across the screen, I can play each of these articulations in. And switch between those articulations. When I press stop and return to Cubase window, you'll notice I have the melody recorded and underneath here, these are the articulation switches. So if I play this back, It plays them the way I performed them, and you can micro-edit these to your heart's content once you've recorded them. Luckily for us, the Spitfire Audio string section within the BBC Symphony Orchestra all have the same articulations, so I can switch between celli, violin, viola, basses, and all have the same set of key switches. So that's how they work. Let's move on to the trombone, and let's just mute those for a second. So we're going back up to the first level, and this time we're clicking on the brass icon. This takes us to the brass articulations, and now I've got control over my trombone section. Again, I can switch articulations very quickly by pressing the Stream Deck buttons, and I can then switch between, for instance, legato, staccatissimo, sforzando, and back to legato again. And that's how easy it is. You can go through each of your Spitfire Audio BBC Symphony Orchestra instruments and record all of your performances in real time. <clears throat> you can work through your BBC Symphony Orchestra instruments and record all of your articulation switching as part of your MIDI performance when you're recording within your DAW. So for completion, I'll just show you the flute, switching up, 
to the woodwind section and now I can choose my trills and back to legato. The tune percussion follows a very similar trend. Go back up, choose tune percussion, and now we've got access to our hits, our rolls, soft hits, and then hot rods. Of course, not all of the tune percussion has the same level of articulations, but at least all of them have the hits and the rolls which are available on the articulation switcher. In addition, I've put tremolo and gliss effects for the harp instrument. Underneath that, you have your untuned percussion. And if I go now to my untuned percussion, you'll see I can select each of my untuned instruments. So by loading the key up on the screen here, we can choose between anvil, bass drums, cymbals, snares, piazzi, etc. If I click on any of the articulations that you don't currently see on the screen, it goes to the next screen automatically and shows you those articulations as you select them. So it's a very quick way of switching between your instrument articulations. What's even better, of course, is you don't have to have the instrument open to do this. So if I go back to my trombone, go up to my articulation manager for trombone, I can simply play the trombone alongside other MIDI tracks and switch articulations in real time. So that's how it works in my hands. I've programmed in each of these buttons and given each of the buttons their own little icon so it corresponds with the Spitfire Audio settings. As an added bonus in each of these setups, I've also set up the opportunity to change dynamics on the fly nice and quickly. Most of the time I've got a controller over here which allows me to use a slider to control my uh, dynamics and my expression and also vibrato, reverb and other plugins within my VST instrument set. But sometimes it's nice just to say, right, I want this to start PP and then work up. So I've got some nice simple buttons here showing pianissimo all the way up to fortissimo and I can choose anything in between. And by clicking on each of these buttons, you'll see the dynamic controller within the interface changes automatically up to the right level. So for instance, I can start PP. And work up through my dynamics. This is not particularly interesting if you want to do a subtle change between two dynamic levels, but you can use a slider for that. Alternatively, you use these buttons as a quick start in Cubase or your DAW, and then you can use the editing tools to edit in your crescendos or diminuendos between your sections. So that's how I use the Elgato Stream Deck to program in the articulations within the BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin from Spitfire Audio. Hope this helps.